on TV. Yeah, you know I'm saying. You see what it is. Big G the ruler. You know. Homewood representative, Loud Pack representative, Pittsburgh representative, four one two in the building. Sir. What's happening? Hey man, what's up with you, man? You know we did this a couple times. Couple times, couple times, man. I ain't getting back to it. Yes, sir, man. You was just telling me about a story about, you know I mean, our last interview. Oh yeah, my dog, making them beats out of the car, coming yeah. straight, pulling up on people. I done came a long, long way from that. Yeah. <laughs> For real. All right, well, I guess we're going to start for the people that don't know who you are. So, uh, you want to give them a brief okay, uh, well, summary of who Big G the Ruler is? Big G the Ruler. At first, it was just Big G. I threw the ruler in there later, but we're going to get to that. I kind of started out in uh, high school when I was, uh, I went to school with Lil Brucey, Bruce from most, and, uh, he was in there making beats, and I was like, how the fuck is this motherfucker making beats off these dumbass pianos in school? Mm. And then he showed me, and then my man AC showed me. He showed me Fruity Loops, and I was like, oh yeah, I gotta have this. I gotta get down with this. Cause I wanted to do music anyway all my life. Like, it's just in my bones, you feel me? Yeah. And so from there, they showed me what they showed me, the foundation and how I, how I go about, you know, making a beat and doing this and that and the third, then just made it happen. Oh, yeah. So uh, where'd you go to high school at? I went to Western House, right in Homewood. Straight, straight Homewood. Homewood anything. <laughs> okay. So, uh, <clears throat> like, how was it back then, you know what I mean? Like, Crazy as fuck. Before, like, you got into music. You know <laughs> Crazy as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> niggas are doing dumb shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> niggas was, nigga, uh, Homewood Fiend Smackers. You understand? We was, we was amped up back in those days, man. We was listening to 3 Six Mafia, uh, Soldier Slim, BG. Them was the real influences on, 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 on a whole Homewood statue. Them was, they, they, they was the greatest. BG and Soldier Slim, man. Hell yeah. That's what everybody was trying to be back then. BG yeah, and Soldier Slim. Some niggas say wine, all that shit. Yeah, homie. Wine, nigga. <laughs> Whoa, they. That's, yeah. all, that's all that New Orleans shit. We was like, yeah, that's 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 how we supposed to be, yeah. Because we is turned up like that back in the day. And all the people I know that was with me, man, God rest in peace, half of them, you know what I mean? Because it was just crazy. Right. That's how Homewood was. Yeah, like Homewood always been separated. Like, yeah, you know I mean, uptown, downtown, hilltop, Dallas, CC. Yeah. You know but I mean? for me, honestly, because my uh, my peoples they kind of stayed downtown, and then I lived uptown, so I would go both ways. Yeah, you feel me, back and forth, like. And I knew every every everybody knew me. Like, I don't know. It just I you know what I mean I got a magnetic energy about me that everybody fucked with so I damn near fucked with everybody all the old heads that's who I was around all the time anyway all the old heads <laughs> and that's re really where I seen a lot of shit that yeah you know I mean you need to see growing up in that type of environment to know what to do and what not to do for real for real <laughs>